Naval ships like frigates, corvettes, and destroyers are all different kinds of ships with distinct capabilities and objectives. Frigates are medium-sized boats that are used to protect bigger ships, carry out anti-submarine warfare, and do naval combat activities. They can also be used for air defense, surface warfare, and to help people in need or after a disaster. Corvettes are smaller than frigates, and they are made to protect coasts and do patrol work. They are often used to fight against submarines, attack ships on the surface, and clear mines. Compared to frigates and corvettes, destroyers are bigger and have more weapons. They are made to do many different things, like defend against air attacks, fight on land, and fight against submarines. Destroyers can also be used to protect against ballistic missiles, to protect bigger ships like aircraft carrier and disaster relief operations. But there is a type of ship that is made to fight sea wars, with missiles as its main weapon. Such vessels are sometimes referred to as rapid attack boats or missile vessels. These vessels are able to be highly effective in a variety of military activities. They can be used to attack and demolish enemy naval vessels by employing their missile systems to strike at susceptible areas which can either cripple or destroy their targets. This can be particularly useful against bigger ships that move more slowly and are less able to avoid missile strikes than smaller ships. It is possible to use missile boats to board suspicious vessels, such as those participating in hijacking or contraband, and to apprehend them. The possibility of missile strikes can be an effective means of deterring these kinds of activities, and the swiftness and nimbleness of the vessel can make it simpler to apprehend and confine individuals of suspicious behavior. Missile vessels can be used to support special forces operations, such as providing close-range fire support or transporting troops and equipment to shore. They are perfect for operating in shallow waterways or close to shore where bigger vessels may be more susceptible due to their small size and their ability to blend in with their surroundings. Their compact sizes and stealth capabilities make them ideal for operating in shallow waters or close to shore where larger vessels may be more susceptible to attack. In general, they are smaller than corvettes, typically less than 25 meters in length and less than 200 tons in weight. Several shipyards in India are able to produce a wide range of naval vessels, including destroyers, corvettes, frigates, and even advanced submarines. The Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited in Mumbai is one of India's foremost shipyards and has a proven track record in the construction of vessels. Hence, they are appropriately referred to as shipbuilder to the nation. Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers in Kolkata has produced a variety of naval vessels, including Shivalik class frigates, Komorta class corvettes, and fast attack crafts, among others. The Goa Shipyard, the Hindustan Shipyard Limited, and the Cochin Shipyard are additional shipbuilders with experience in the construction of warships in India. The Cochin Shipyard Limited has signed a contract for the construction of six next-generation missile vessels for the Indian Navy, with delivery of the ships scheduled to commence in 2027. The ship's principal function would be to provide offensive capabilities against hostile warships, merchant vessels, and land targets. In addition to the previously stated, the government-owned company is also constructing eight anti-submarine warfare shallow watercrafts for the Navy, which are in various phases of construction at the shipyard. Missile vessels have been utilized in a variety of actual situations. During the Falklands War between Argentina and the United Kingdom, for instance, the Argentine Navy attacked British naval vessels with missile boats. 
The Argentine missile boats were able to cause severe damage to British vessels, including the demise of the HMS Sheffield. Using Vidyut-class missile boats, the Indian Navy's 25th Missile Boat Squadron was instrumental in the country's December 1971 attacks on Karachi during the Indo-Pakistani War. Half of the Pakistani Navy was wiped out in Indian attacks, and the rest of the country's marine petroleum supplies were depleted when the Indian Armed Forces emptied the port's fuel storage containers. During the 1991 Gulf War, U.S. Navy missile boats attacked Iraqi naval vessels, which posed a significant threat to coalition forces operating in the Persian Gulf. The missile boats were able to eliminate a number of Iraqi vessels and assist in regaining control of the waterways. India's next-generation missile boats will be loaded out with a variety of lethal weaponry and monitoring equipment. Missile boats in the West are armed with sophisticated long-range anti-ship missiles, making them more difficult to detect and protect against because of their greater range. These types of missiles are not only more precise than their predecessors, but they can also transport more payloads. Nonetheless, India's next-generation missile vessels will stand out thanks to their use of the BrahMos, the world's fastest anti-ship cruise missile. In order to track down subs, the ships could be armed with a smart ASW system, a hybrid system that functions first as a missile and then as a torpedo. Other missiles such as Exocet, Harpoon, and Club may also be equipped on these boats, and for protection against anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and UAVs, the boats may be equipped with Indo-Israeli Barak 8 SAMs. India's next-generation missile vessels will be stealthy, making them more difficult to detect with radar and other sensors. They are constructed with radar-absorbing materials and have a small radar cross-section, making them difficult to detect by hostile radar. India's next-generation missile vessels will be equipped with sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities, such as interference systems and decoys. These systems can disrupt or confound adversary radar and missiles, allowing the missile boat to attack and avoid counterattacks with greater ease. The vessels will be outfitted with sophisticated sensor and communication systems that provide real-time battlefield information. This data can be utilized to enhance targeting and avoid adversary detection.